This is a contrast enhanced CT scan of chest abdomen and pelvis of a 25 years old female. Now please observe this is like a slope on right side. The patient complains of pain and discomfort in epigastrium, nausea and there is a history of significant weight loss. On endoscopy there was antel gastritis. No mastin was present. Biopsies were taken which revealed adenocarcinoma. Now please observe diffuse thickening of the walls of the fundus and body of stomach. The rugi are blunt at places there is effacement of the rugal folds. This is a relatively small sized body of stomach. Please observe non homogeneous enhancement, density of adjacent fat, slight stranding. Now, this circumferential thickening of walls of the fundus, stomach, and proximal part of antrum extends up to this level. Now, please observe the distal part of the pyloric antrum is quite capacious and distance normally. Similarly, pyloric canal is also normal. Contrast medium is passing normally into the duodenum, jejunum, and rest of the small intestine. This is a case of sclerous carcinoma of stomach. No, I scroll it down. There is myelitis. Please observe here, slight thickening of the greater momentum. This is the thickened greater momentum here. Mild ascites. As I scroll it down, this is right ovary. The volume of right ovary was approximately 19 ml. Multiple small cysts are noted in it. This is left ovary. This is also prominent. Its volume was approximately 18 ml small cysts are noted in it. Uterus contained few small intramural fibroids. So both the ovaries are slightly enlarged containing multiple small cysts. The likelihood is that these are the metastatic lanes or the Krukenberg tumors. I scroll it back up again. This is the cycle scan. Please see the thickness of wall of stomach in the region of the pyloric antrum. Now just observe the thickness of wall here in the regions of the body and fundus of stomach. This is the uterus here, few small intramural fibroids. This is right ovary, quite prominent looking. This is the left ovary here, this one. So the likelihood is that the thickness, thickening of greater momentum is also metastatic. The patient has developed mild ascites and bilateral ovarian metastatic lanes suggestive of Krukenberg tumors.